Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on drawing a line from its equation when the gradient is fractional. Now the kind of basic form of the equation of a straight line is when you have y equals something x plus something and that number in front of the x is known as the gradient. And what the gradient tells you is that each time x increases by 1, what does the y value change by? So it's basically saying the y value is going up by half. So each time x increases by 1, the y value goes up by half. So it would be going up like this. So when you have a fractional gradient like this, and it's less than 1, it's going to be relatively shallow. Whereas if I had a large gradient like 3, it's going to be going up very steeply, because each time you go across 1, you'd be going up 3. That would be very steep. Now I'm going to be generous here and say where we want to draw the line between. So between x is minus 2 and x is equal to 4. Now this equation here is effectively a membership rule to say when a point is allowed to be on the line. So whatever x is, we have to choose a y that makes this equation true. So let's just use these two end values, these kind of two extreme values of the line. So when x is minus 2, the left end of the line, what will y be? Well, we just need to substitute this minus 2 into the equation. Well, y is equal to half times minus 2, so half times minus 2, plus 1. So half times minus 2, well, what's half of 2? Half of 2 is 1, but it's positive times negative, so it's going to be negative 1 plus 1, and that is equal to 0. So when x is minus 2, y is 0, so that's a coordinate minus 2, 0. So if we plot that, minus 2 on the x-axis, so minus 2 is here, and then 0 on the y-axis, you don't go up or down, you just stay here, so it will be here, our first point. And then what about when x is 4, the other end? Well, when x is 4, y is going to be, if we substitute in, half times 4, plus 1, well, half times 4 is 2, because half of 4 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So when x is 4, y is 3. When x is 4, y is 3, which is here. And then we can just join these up with a straight line, like so. And you can keep it going if you want, although the question does say it just wants it between minus 2 and 4. But technically speaking, this line could go on forever.